In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use normal maps to make an embossed logo and a material with a bumpy surface. Normals are lines perpendicular to faces. The red, green and blue values of the pixels in the normal map are used to make normals. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web, click Set Recommended Options, press X to delete the cube, add Mesh Plane and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Drag to make the Timeline window bigger, change the window to a UV Image Editor, click Open, go to the Blend for Web SDK folder, the Deploy folder, Assets, Dev, change the display to thumbnails. The file we want is logo norm.png. Select it and open and zoom back with the mouse wheel. To UV map the image to the plane, go into edit mode, mesh, UV unwrap, unwrap, and back into object mode. To set up the material, click the Material button and click New. To set up the texture, click the Texture button and click New. The texture type is Image or Movie, which we want. In the Preview panel, click Both. The Mapping Coordinates are UV, which we want. Scrolling down, click the Browse Image button to select the image for UV mapping. But we don't want to map the image to the plane. We want to use the information in the image as a contour map. To do that, in the Influence panel, uncheck Diffuse Color and click Geometry. And in the Image Sampling panel, click Normal Map. The color is now controlled by the material. Click the Material button, click the Diffuse Color and set the green and blue values to zero and click Fast Preview. And the plane has the raised logo texture. If we also map the logo image file to the plane, we'll get a raised logo. To map two images, the material must be linked to two textures. Click the Texture button before I make a new texture, it's a good idea to click the Pack button to pack the image file into the Blend file. Click the Next Texture slot. Click New. The texture type is Image or Movie, which is what we want. Mapping coordinates, UV, which is what we want. We just need to select the image. Click Open. Blend for Web SDK folder, Deploy folder, Assets, Dev, Thumbnails. The image we want is logo.png. Select and open. Because the images match, we don't have to worry about UV mapping. Click the Pack button to pack the image and click Fast Preview. And we get the raised logo. Next, I'm going to map a bumpy surface onto the model of a chess piece. The starting point is the King chess piece. You can make the model yourself or download the file from my website. Drag to make the timeline window bigger and change the window into a UV image editor window. Click the Open Image button. Go to the Blend for Web folder the Deploy folder, Assets, Material Library, Natural, click Thumbnails, the file we want is gypsumnormal.png, select, open and zoom back with the mouse wheel. Go into Edit Mode, in the Mesh menu UV Unwrap Smart UV Project, accept the default and click OK. Click the Browse Image button and select the gypsum image. Press A to select all, S to scale, 3 and enter. Change shading to texture and zoom in with the mouse wheel. 
Go back to object mode, click the material button, click the new material button, click the texture button, click the new texture button. Before I change the settings, I'm going to change the render to blend for web so that we only see the settings that are relevant to the internet. Texture type image or movie we want, click both. Mapping coordinates UV we want, scroll down. In the image sampling panel, click normal map. Uncheck color, click geometry. Click the browse image button and select the gypsum image. The strength of the effect can be reduced, 0.5 for example, or 0.2. I'm going to leave it at full strength. I don't need the UV image editing window anymore. Drag on the corner to get rid of it. Change the view to the front view and zoom back with the mouse wheel. Select the lamp, click its object properties and set its Y location to 4. Duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter and set the X and Y locations of the duplicate to negative values. Select the king, right click on its location values and reset them. Click the material button. Although the diffuse and specular colours are both white, the chess piece appears grey because it absorbs some of the light. A quick way of making it appear white is to make it a light emitter, set emit to 0.5. Duplicate, shift D and enter and move the duplicate to the side. Click the plus to make a new material and call the new material gloss. Duplicate, shift D and enter and move the duplicate to the other side. Click the plus to make a new material and call the new material matte. To get a quick matte white Simply set the specular intensity to zero and you get a chalky matte white finish. To get a plaster like finish in the diffuse color I'm going to set the red to one and the emit to 0.2. For a glossy effect I'm going to change the specular shader toward ISO and the intensity to 1 and that gives a shiny glossy white finish. Changing the diffuse red value to 0.9 and the green value to 0.9 we get a creamy magnolia colour. Click fast preview to view the scene in a web browser. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished files for you to download at my website, click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.